Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Senator Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Ezekiel 47 through 48 and 1 John 3. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. The River from the Temple, Ezekiel 47. The man brought me back to the entrance to the temple, and I saw water coming out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east. From the temple, uh, for the temple faced east, and the water was coming down from under the south side of the temple, south of the altar. He then brought me out through the north gate and led me around the outside to the outer gate facing east, and the water was trickling from the south side. As the man went eastward with a measuring line in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and then led me through water that was angle deep. He measured off another thousand cubits and led me through water that was knee deep. He measured off another thousand and led me through water that was up to my waist. And then he measured off another thousand. Uh, but now it was a river that I could not cross because the water had risen and was deep enough to swim in a river that no one could cross he asked me son of man do you see this and then he led me back to the bank of the river when i arrived there i saw a great number of trees on each side of the river he said to me this water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the arava where it enters the Dead Sea. When it empties into the sea, the salty water the, there becomes fresh. Swarms of living creatures will live wherever the river flows. There will be large numbers of fish because this water flows there and makes the salt water fresh. So, where the river flows, everything will live. Fishermen will stand along the shore from Inagiti to Inagalum. There will be places for spreading nets. The fish will be of many kinds, like the fish of the Mediterranean Sea. But the swamps and marshes will not become f fresh. They will be left for salt. Fruit trees of all kinds will grow on both banks of the river, and their leaves will not wither, nor will their fruit fail. Every month they will bear fruit, because the water of the sanctuary flows to them, and their fruit will serve for food, and their leaves for healing. The Boundaries of the Land This is what the Sovereign Lord says. There are the boundaries of the land that you will divide among the twelve tribes of Israel as their inheritance with two portions for Joseph. You are divided equally among them because I swore with uplifted hand to give it to your ancestors. This land will become your inheritance. And this is what is to be the boundary of the land. On the north side, it will run from the Mediterranean Sea by the Hethlon Road, past Levin, uh, or Lebo, Hamath, to Zedadad, Baroth, and Shiburon, which lies on the border between Damascus and Hamath, as far as Hazar, Hiketon, which is on the border of Iran. The border 
or the boundary will extend from the sea to Hezra Hinnon, along the northern boundary of Damascus, with the border of Hamath to the north. This will be the northern boundary. On the east side, the boundary will run between Haran and Damascus along the Jordan, Jordan between Gilead and the land of Israel to the Dead Sea and as far as Tamar. This will be the eastern boundary. On the south side, it will run from Tamar as far as the waters of Meribah, Kadesh, and then along the body of Egypt to the Mediterranean Sea. This will be the southern boundary. On the west side, the Mediterranean Sea will be the boundary to a point opposite Ebo, Hamath, and this will be in the western boundary. You are to distribute this land among yourselves according to the tribes of Israel. You are to allot it as an inheritance to yourselves, you, and for the foreigners residing among you, and who have children, and you are to consider them as native-born Israelites along with you. They are to be allotted an inheritance among the tribes of Israel. In whatever tribe a foreigner resides, there you are to give them their inheritance, declares the sovereign Lord. The Division of the Land, Ezekiel 48. These are the tribes listed by name at the northern frontier. Dan will have one portion. It will follow the Hethlon Road to Libohemoth, Hezar, Enon, and the northern border of Damascus. Next to Hamath will be part of its border from the east side to the west side. Asher will have one portion, and it will border the territory of Dan from east to west. And Nephthali will have one portion. It will border the territory of Asher from east to west. Manash will have one portion. It will border the territory of Naphtali from east to west. Ephraim will have one portion, and it will border the territory of Manash from east to west. Reuben will have one portion. It will border the territory of Ephraim from east to west. Judah will have one portion. It will border the territory of Reuben from east to west. Bordering the territory of Judah from east to west will be the portion that you are to present as a special gift. It will be 25,000 cubits wide, and its length from east to west will equal one of the tribal portions. The sanctuary will be in the center of it. The special portion you are to offer to the Lord will be 25,000 cubits long and 10 cubit, or 10,000 cubits wide. This will be the sacred portion for the priests. It will be 25,000 cubits long on the north side, 10,000 cubits wide on the west side, 10,000 cubits wide on the east side, and 25,000 cubits long on the south side. In the center of it will be the sanctuary of the Lord. This will be for the consecrated priests, the Zedekites, uh, who were faithful in serving me and did not go astray, as the Levites did when the Israelites went astray. It will be a special gift to them from the sacred portion of the land, a most holy portion, bordering the territories of the Levites.
Now, along the side of the crease, the Levites will have an allotment 25,000 cubits long and 10,000 cubits wide. Its total length will be 25,000 cubits and its width 10,000 cubits. And they must not sell or exchange any of it. This is the best of the land and must not pass into other hands because it is holy to the Lord. The remaining area, 5,000 cubits wide and 25,000 cubits long, will be for the common use of the city, for houses and for pasture lands. The city will be in the center of it and will have these measurements. The north side, 45,000 cubits. The south side, 45,000 cubits. And the east side, 45,000 cubits. And the west side, 45,000 cubits. The pasture land for the city will be 250 cubits on the north, 250 cubits on the south, 250 cubits on the east, and 250 cubits on the west. What remains of the area, according to all the sacred portions, uh, the running the, the length of it will be 10,000 cubits on the east side and 10,000 cubits on the west side. Its produce will supply food for the workers of the city. The workers from the city who farm it will come from all the tribes of Israel. The entire portion will be a square, 25,000 cubits on each side, as a special gift. You will set aside the sacred portion along with the property of the city. What remains on both sides of this area, formed by the sacred portion and the property of the city, will belong to the prince. It will extend eastward from the 25,000 cubits of the sacred portions to the eastern border and westward from 25,000 cubits to the western border. Both these areas running the length of the tribal portions will belong to the prince and the sacred portion with the temple sanctuary will be in the center of them. So the, print, the property of the Levites and the property of the city will lie in the center of the area that belongs to the prince. The area belonging to the prince will lie between the borders of Judea and the border of Benjamin. And as for the rest of the tribes, Benjamin will have one portion. It will extend from the east side to the west side. Simon will have one portion. It will border the territory of Benjamin from the east to the west. Esphera will have one portion, and it will border the territory of Simon from east to west. Zebulun will have one portion, and it will border the territory of Esphera from east to west. Gad will have a portion. It will border the territory of Zebulun from east to west. The southern boundary of Gad will run south from Tamar to the waters of Meribah, Kadesh. Then along the wadi of Egypt to the Mediterranean Sea. This is the land you are to allot as an inheritance to the tribes of Israel, and these will be their portions, declares the sovereign Lord. The gates of the new city. These will be the, the exits of the city, beginning on the north side, which is 4,500 cubits long. The gate of the city will be named after the tribes of Israel. The three gates on the north side will be the gate of Reuben, the gate of Judah, uh, and the gate of Levi. On the east side, which is 4,500 cubits long, will be three gates. The gate of Joseph, 
the gate of Benjamin, and the gate of Dan. And on the south side, which measures 4,500 cubits, will be the gates of Simon, the gates of Eskara, and the gate of Zebulun. And on the west side, which is 4,500 uh, cubits long, will be the three gates, the gate of Gad, the gate of Asher, and the gate of Naphtali. And the distance all around will be 18,000 cubits, and the name of the city from that time on will be, The Lord is there. And that was Ezekiel 47 through 48. And now we will be turning to John 3. 1 John 3, that is. 1 John 3. See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it does not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in his name uh, is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. And the one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. And the one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right in the uh, is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. More on love and hatred. For this is the message you heard from Ouch. For this is the message you heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why? Did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil, and his brothers were righteous. Do not be surprised, my brothers and sisters, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love each other. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Anyone who hates a brother or a sister is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life residing in them. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. If anyone has material possession and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them. How can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and the truth. 
this is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence. If our hearts condemn us, we know that God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Dear friends, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confided, we have confidence before God and receive from him anything we ask because we keep his commands and do what pleases him. And this is his command to believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and to love one another as he commanded us. And the one who keeps God's commands lives in him, and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the Spirit he gave to us. And that concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Daniel 1 through 2 and 1 John 4. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Senator Briscoe, have enjoyed being the messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow because, well, God willing, we'll be here. And we hope that you are too. Thank you. God bless you. And please like and share.